This week I've been using the Business Model Canvas and the Value Proposition Canvas to think about the work we're doing in wellbeing teams and to think about it from different perspectives, from the perspective of people we'll be serving, from the perspective of commissioners and from the perspective of potential colleagues. And I want to explain how I've been thinking about the Value Proposition Canvas for potential colleagues in relation to recruitment and get your ideas and reflections on them. So if we start over here, um, what this part of the Value Proposition Canvas does is invites us to think about the pains that people are currently experiencing, uh, the gains that you're offering and the customer jobs. So if we look at pains first of all, um, the potential pains of people who are doing, uh, who are working generally um, or, or in social care is that their current work might lack purpose. Now, obviously, I don't expect that to be the case in social care, but in other work. So current work lacks purpose. Current work might not have any prospects and no one is interested in your personal development. Your current work might be lonely, stressful or boring. You might not have security and be on zero hours contracts. Or you might not be at work and can't find something for 16 hours or is flexible. Or you don't believe in the organisation, uh, its vision, uh, it might just be about profit and you might think it doesn't care about you. And the customer job that we're trying to fulfil here, if we're thinking about potential colleagues as customers, is that they are likely to be looking at work for work that pays. Plus, if we look at this from Daniel Pink's perspective, they'll be looking for something that helps them develop their skills, develop mastery, that has purpose and gives them autonomy as well. So over here um, are the pain relievers. So it's what we might have that are pain relievers, then the products and services we offer, and then the gain creators that we can then check over here about whether these are gains that we can deliver for customers. So our pain relievers are, in wellbeing teams, we give people an opportunity to develop their skills and competence. We give them security through a salary, um, opportunities of flexible working, for example, around a family or around your studies work with purpose that aligns with values, career options, uh, we pay at least the living wage, and a close team and buddy at work so people can feel connected. And then over here, the products and services that we offer, again, if you can describe them like that, that deliver that are, each team has a team coach that supports teamwork and supports the focus on individual wellbeing in the team and team wellbeing, and a practice coach that offers personalised skill development and support around a career path. So therefore the gain creators for wellbeing teams are flexible shifts where you can work around family and studies, career development and we have roles that be specifically build people's skills as well as a focus on career. We have ways for people to stay connected through weekly team meetings and a buddy and autonomy through self-organised teams. So again, what Daniel Pink says about mastery, purpose and autonomy, we're trying to address. And therefore over here, the gains that people might experience through wellbeing teams are, they're supported to develop skills and career options. They're supported to pay attention to their own wellbeing. They work with a strong sense of purpose and can see the difference that they're making. They have autonomy at work through self-management. They have a buddy and they're paid to spend an hour with their buddy each month, problem solving and reflecting together. They have a salary and paid breaks and flexible shifts and they're paid for travel time. And they work in small teams with weekly meetings and we stay connected via Slack. So apologies to um, Strategizer if I've got some of that um, wrong. I did it on the basis of watching some of the instructional videos which were excellent. Um, and I'd be delighted to have any feedback or response from people. Again, what we're trying to do is think differently about recruitment, think about it in terms of the value that we are offering potential colleagues and keep building on the work we did with Neil Eastwood. Thank you.